Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Log here learning in this video, we are going to solve ICIC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 12 uh, Parallel Lines Exercise 12 and Question Number 1. Okay, so this is question number 1 of exercise 12 and what we got here it is in the following figure what type of angles are A and F, B and P, X and P, Y and Q and so on right uh, so here you see this is our figure and in this we have many angles a b c d e f g and like so on it has been marked using several variables we have to tell what type of angles are these okay so before learning these we need to know something very important right that is what that when first of all suppose i have two parallel lines right here right here i have two parallel lines okay and I tell you that a line intersects these two coplanar lines. Coplanar lines means that our both of our lines are lying on the same plane, okay? And they will never intersect. So I tell you, if any line intersects these two lines, suppose this one intersects it, okay? So this line, which is intersecting our parallel lines, is known as a transversal, all right? So a line that is intersecting our uh, actual parallel lines is known as a transversal, right? So this is a transversal in this figure. Now there are several angles also which are formed when a transversal intersects two lines, right? There are total of eight angles with, out of which we already know a few. And what are the first is linear pair. You can see what angles are formed. This one, this one, this and this 4 on this side then 4 on this side 4 on this side 4 on this side and 4 on the other one right so total of 8 angles are formed you can see 8 angles formed now you see here that uh, basically they these angles are of some types I'll tell you each of them first is a linear pair we already know a linear pair two angles lying on the same line and their sum is 180 degree right those angles are known as a linear pair second we know that vertically opposite angles right the two angles which are opposite to each other which are formed by intersecting lines suppose i have an angle here this one this parallel line right this parallel line in this you can see that this angle the one with this blue this one and this angle okay both of these are vertically opposite angles to each other so this means that they will be equal but they will be opposite to each other that is why they, we call them vertically opposite right then over to that these two we study in the 11th chapter now the 12th one is telling us a few more angles out of which one is corresponding angle corresponding angles right what are these types of angles so you see over here that i have i label these angles as well one two three four five six seven and eight right so these angles are uh, the co corresponding angles okay uh, out of which you see what are the corresponding angles these angles lie on the same side of the transversal and on the same side of lines p and lines q right see over here that p and q lines i'll make it here okay this and this now you see in this 1 and uh, 5 I'll tell you an example basically corresponding angles lie on the same side of the transversal this is the transversal the one with blue line the blue line is the transversal right and to its right this side there will be one angle to its right to its uh, sorry to the left there will be one angle and then to the right there will be another angle okay and also one more thing to keep is that you can see our angle will be on one side of P and Q both. Suppose on P, it is to the left of P, right? This one here it is. So suppose I have 2 here, right? So corresponding angle to 2 will be in this part only. That is one side of our transversal. That is the right side because 2 is also in the right side. And you see 6 is in the right side. And it is uh, on the same side of Q as well. That is this one, right? So it is on the same side this means what that 2 and 6 are corresponding angles same goes for 1 and 5 here as well right these two angles also have 
basically are corresponding angles because you can see they lie on the same side of the transversal and p and q right okay these are corresponding angles then we have we've had alternate angles and they are of many type many types basically um, so what are the alternate angles okay for uh, so we have the alternate angles now so basically they are of two types we have them but first we'll understand basically what is an alternate angle so they are basically angles which lie on the opposite side of are transversal okay you see here that one angle lies here this one okay this one and you can see I'll take another example suppose I have 3 and 6 right so 3 is on this side 6 is on this side both of them are on the totally opposite sides of our angles this means what that they they are alternate angles and they are also of two types basically and they are uh, first of all the alternate angles they are of inter they are interior and they are exterior what are these types of angles let's see uh, so the interior angles are these okay the exterior ones you can see interior angles means same thing that angles lie on the opposite side of the transversal but in the interior of our angle so this much part is the interior this much part with the red shaded part right this much part is our interior and inside of it we have 3 and 6 which are on the opposite side if you see 4 and 5 they are also on the opposite side so they are also known as interior uh, sorry alternate interior angles right and it is not necessary that there are only one type of angle in an entire figure it can be of these many types as well uh, so you see here that uh, so we know interior angles what are exterior ones now exterior is simply the angles which lie on the exterior of our uh, answer basically right so you see here alternate exterior angles 1 and 8 they are lying in the exterior right and also you see that they are li lying on the opposite side of the transversal one is here to the left of transversal 8 is to the right of transversal so they are lying opposite to each other this means what that they are alternate exterior angles right then we have uh, the same side interior angles which are known as the co interior angles as well what are they what are the co interior angles see they, they are simple as alternate angles only alternate interior angles only but only difference is they are not alternate they are on the same side in alternate the angle would be on different sides right like this but in the interior sorry in the co interior angles angle is on the same side and it is interior it is in the interior of our figure so 3 and 5 4 and 6 angles are co interior angles right now we move on to solve the question that is given to us and what does it say uh, so what does it say it says in the following figure what type of angles are first is a and f second is b and p then we have x and p y and q and so on it keeps on going like this right so basically you can see here that this is the figure given to us in this we have to identify each of our angles okay so first of all we can see here that in the first part what can we see this a and f are given to us a is which angle a is this angle this is a with the red color i'm marking a and this is q with the red color sorry not q we have to mark f so this is f here with the red color okay so you see over here a and f are lying on the opposite side of the transversal what is the transversal here c this is our transversal okay with the yellow so this is our transversal and to its opposite side are a and f okay this means what they are alternate angles okay and since one angle is in, t in is in the exterior and the other is in the interior we'll just call them alternate angles we don't give them a name for that right so uh, here we go so 
first part you write the answer as uh, uh, so first part answer will be what alternate angles right alternate angles then we have the second part this is b and p okay so b and p are where on this figure if you see carefully right so you will find it, it over here you can see b is below a and p is below x this is b here okay this is b uh, i'll take a bright color so that it's visible to you okay this is b with the blue color okay and what is where is p p is here okay i've made the arrows now you see here that p and q are lying on this transversal don't take that as the transversal take this as your transversal uh with the yellow color this one right so you can see this is our transversal and b is on this side of our transversal this is b okay and this is q uh, sorry p so you see over here that b and p lie on the same side of our transversal and they one is interior and the other is exterior so what are these types of angles known as one being exterior and the other being interior on the same side of transversal are corresponding corresponding angles right so uh, what will we have here for the second part we have the corresponding angles okay then the next part of this question says what is it uh, x and p and y and q okay x and p here this is x okay and where is y x and uh, sorry x and p so this is p and this is y and this is q so total of four angles here x p y and q are shown to us we have to tell that which type of them basically they are right x p and this y q so if you identify them they are on the same side of their transversals and you see that both of them are interiors right so this means what they are co interior angles okay so third part becomes co interior angles all right i'll just write in this short form co interior and angles okay then we've got the fourth part of this question and what does it have for us it is b and e right this one is b and e so where do we have b and e this is b okay this is b and this is e i'll take a bright one right so this is b and this one is e so you can see that they are lying on the opposite side of the transversal uh, so you can see over here what are the what is the transversal what is the transversal this is our transversal right and opposite sides they are lying on and you can see that one is interior and the other is exterior this means that they are simply alternate angles okay so fourth part is alternate angles okay i hope we are clear okay so this is alternate angles now the fifth one is what this is let's see it says c and q okay so where is c and where is q on our figure here we have this and we can see that c is here okay this is c and this is q right so this means what that you can see that they are lying on the same side of the transversal again one is interior and the other is exterior so this means that this is which type of angles they are alternate angles because sorry they are not alternate angles they are corresponding angles because they are lying on the same side and one is interior and the other is exterior angle okay so we will go ahead and write this thing as corresponding angles okay for fifth question right fifth part of this question we've got corresponding angles right then the next one is the sixth one b and x y and d c and y c over here i'll quickly go ahead and mark all of our angles right so b is this right this is b um so this is b 
okay and then we have x here this is x and then we have y then d right y and d this is d and then we have c and y so c is over here and y here so y is being repeated two times and also you will see b and x and y and d and c and y all of our angles are lying on straight lines what are they i'll mark it see this is one straight line on which b and x are lying then the other one on which c and y is lying and then the other one on which y and d are lying so this means what that they are linear pairs because they are lying on a same line and they are forming the sum of 180 degrees right so we write the answer of this as linear pairs right um, i'll correct it right so linear pairs and the last part of this question says c and t uh, sorry c and d and t and y okay so where is c and d and where is t and y let's have a look at it so c and d is over here right this is c um this is c okay and this is d and this is t okay and this is y so you can see all of them are forming a straight or uh, basically forming a straight angle and they are lying on a straight line and you can see over here that it has shown c and d as they are vertically opposite angles you see this one is c here this is one is c and this is d so both of them are vertically opposite to each other because they are intersecting each other but not on a straight line so this means what that both of our pairs are vertically intersecting angles part 7th all right it is vertically uh, vertically opposite angles not intersecting vertically opposite angles and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye